Hello everyone and welcome to another bonus episode of the Sempre Milan podcast. This week we are going to be profiling our final summer signing, Tammy Abraham, who arrived on loan from Roma on deadline day. Hello. It's me. <laughs> I was wondering if after three or four days you'd like to meet to go over everything. Um, 10th of December, 2016. Why is that date significant? I know exactly what day you're talking about. Is that go the on. day that Tammy scored on the 94th and Samak scored on the 96th? Like a 2016? No, it wasn't. But... 2016, I'm sorry. Yes. However... Yeah, that that will come into it at some point. 10th of December 2016 is the first time that I saw Tammy Abraham live in the flesh. And in the 33rd minute, he finished past Danny Ward, who was our goalkeeper at the time, Huddersfield's goalkeeper at the time, to equalise for Bristol City against uh, against Huddersfield. And uh, yeah, that was the first of his loan spells that he went on when he was at Chelsea. Um, he's had quite an interesting career path to this point. Obviously, came through the Chelsea Youth Academy, um, spent a long time there. He's been there since 2004 when he was seven years old. Um, went on that loan to Bristol City for the season, then went to Swansea, then went to Aston Villa, then got the number nine shirt at Chelsea, and it looked like he'd finally cracked it, you know. Um, but then ended up at Roma in 2021 under Mourinho and every manager that's followed since. And now he's here. Are you happy that Tammy's here? Yeah, I am, actually. Uh, I'm a big Tammy fan. Um, I thought he could have been the next big guy at Chelsea if they operated like a real club and not a fucking merry-go-round circus. Um, <laughs> if if they would have just kept him and you know put a little trust in Because he was doing great. And mm. he's he's got a knack for some nice-looking goals. You know, and nothing... No no Puskas Award winners, but, you know, g- good goals in there. Um Actually, there might be a couple. I watched his highlights yeah, today on deadline day, and I was like, damn. Yeah, he had some moments in him. Um, yes. Yeah, but Tammy was cool. I was bummed he went to Roma. Um, really didn't want him there because I, I like to root for players I like, and I'm not going to do that if they're at Roma. So, uh, mm-hmm. obviously, then the injury, and that worries everyone. But that first season at Rome, he was fantastic. I mean, definitely yeah. – was the striker we should have went for in that window. Did we sign one yeah. that same window? Who did we get? Good question. Uh, summer 2021 will have been Giroud, right? Yeah, I think you're right. So, okay. Yeah, Giroud first season Scudetto. Time, but, but. Yeah, but you're right. But that was like um, perhaps a reflection of our strategy at the time. We were just collecting band-aids to put over the problem that we refused to mask. Whereas Roma, who had not been doing as well, let's be honest, like... You know, we were pushing for the title. They probably weren't in that discussion. Um, they went and spent forty million euros on on Tammy, and it was like, okay, they've got their 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 number nine for years to come here. Um, and he scored twenty seven goals in that first season, yeah. uh, seventeen in the league, and then nine in the Conference League, which basically fired them to the final, which they won. Um, so yeah, he he was instrumental in Roma winning a trophy, which is something not many players get to say. No. Um, and and then yeah, it sort of declined from there. To be fair, injury injuries and um, in particular the the bad one being the, the ligament tear that he got at the was back it, end of this. Was it a knee or Achilles? I can't remember. I think it was a knee. I think it was his uh, knee ligaments because he was basically out for the full nine months, and he made um, what was it like eight appearances coming back last end end of last season. Um, but even though he he only played, I say only played. He he played uh, 120 games for Roma, you know, across the time that he was there. So that's that's not bad um, yeah. by any stretch. Scoring 37 goals, 13 assists. Um, he managed to score three of those against us, and two of them were in added time. One of them I was there for, and that was the game that you thought I was talking about at first. The one in the January that sparked the collapse. The the 95th minute, I think it was, close range equaliser to make it 2-2. Yeah. Um, and a freezing January night when it pissed it down. And I was so miserable walking out of that. And the the idea that Tammy Abraham made me miserable is quite funny to, to come full circle to now. Um, 
And then, yeah, the other one was that mental game at the Olympico where he scored in like the 94th and it's like, fuck, we've lost. And then Salamakas basically equalised straight from kickoff. That was a wild game. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, he, he's got a knack for scoring against us, but he's with us now. I was a bit, it was a bit mad how all this went down because we were linked heavily with him at the start of the window. We were linked even more so when Maratta had just arrived because it became apparent we were after a deputy uh, to, to Maratta. Uh, and then it all went quiet. 